Hey Capricorn, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. Take what works, leave what doesn't. If I don't catch a wavelength or storyline on this reading, you can go ahead and check your other major placements. If I do catch your wavelength or storyline on this reading, you can uh, join me now over on Vimeo for an extended and we'll do the oracle cards and find out more information that way. But on this reading, we're going to do uh, tarot cards with a um, more traditional tarot spread. So for the overall, for the reading, taking it from the bottom, oh my, we have death. Um, <laughs> nice perky little card here. But we all know at this point in tarot that death is actually transformation. It's a major arcana, could be some big transformation. It's leaving something behind so that the new thing can flourish. It's the fact that as we grow, we have to leave parts of ourself in the past. And this can feel like death. Um, this can feel, it is a death. It's a death of a part of ourself. So if you're the thing transforming, you're leaving a piece of yourself back here. Uh, you no longer need to define yourself by that. You no longer, and it, you maybe hold a little funeral for your old self if, if it's hard. Um, that sounded sarcastic, but I mean, it can be hard and different people need different, different tools to help us make these transitions here. So, um, so something, something being lost, but it's in, it's for the purpose of, uh, of, of rebirth. It's in the service of life, right? If nothing died, uh, most of us wouldn't be alive today because everything you know there wouldn't be room for us on the planet we wouldn't be able to eat anything and then um you know our bodies themselves are full of death even as they're living and thriving they're also killing off uh viruses and bacterias and there's like wars going on inside of us all the time between our white blood cells and the foreign cells and all of that so absolutely crucial is death to us being alive to us uh thriving so there's a sense of something, something being given up, something being lost for a big transformation, threshold, threshold time in your life where something really changes. You cross a threshold here. So uh, past, let's do it this way. Past, present, no, that was a reversal. Oh, la -di da Past, present, inner landscape what's at issue environment to-do list possible outcome that was fascinating um because i keep i don't usually have reversals i don't i think i understand uh, you know i don't keep this deck um i don't take any and all reversals that this deck can give to me some decks i do some and i take one reversal here so it's just always something to really catch my eye in the past, five of pentacles. So five of pentacles in the upright is you being left out. Everybody having what they need, everyone else having a sense of security and safety and you being left out in the cold for, oh my gosh, look at this, this owl here to come in and gobble you up while everybody else is safe and secure in their homes. I see like an anarchy sign here. Feeling very vulnerable though. But this is in the reverse, but we still have the same owl. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of death cards here, like deathish things. There's a lot of transformation and change. There's like three cards here, four cards here that look like they're all related very closely to this one. So in the reversal though, this could be being included in something. This could be coming out of a time of poverty, a time of vulnerability where, where you were the one that was secure and others were more vulnerable. More vulnerable to attack, more. So in the past, you may have had a sense of security. You may have been in the cocoon while others were out exposed and vulnerable you chose safety over vulnerability in the past you chose security 
or you were in it was it's like you were in the in group and there were these others in the out group that were vulnerable maybe you uh, watched and observed somebody else's vulnerability maybe you were powerless here trapped in your cocoon you couldn't have done anything but there's a sense of you being in the in group and sort of inside looking out at something outside something left out something vulnerable uh in your current situation you have page of wands so pages are, are rookies wow i hadn't looked up for a while like huh <laughs> um page of wands so pages are these are these are like the paper dolls they talk and they say things they're court cards so they represent people page of wands so somebody who is having some sort of intuition understanding something this could be you you could be a rookie starting to see something starting to get grasp something finding some sort of inspiration in the dark like rooting around in the dark and yet there's this magic here there's this magic that's really caught your eye that you can see there's some sort of creative solution but you're not an expert you're or there there's there there could be some kind of rookie here that's just getting started with some sort of inspired dream inspired idea um, so maybe you've taken on a mentee or you yourself are a mentee uh, needing a mentor or you're just or you the, so so the page of wands this can be you this can be somebody else this can be a vibe um and it's somebody who has um who, who's just starting to learn about a spiritual idea a spiritual practice or they're a rookie of some kind um so if it's someone you know then i imagine you are going to be helping show them the ropes this could be a creative thing uh someone who's just starting an art form um but it's it's a beginner it's a rookie they're very curious they're full of curiosity um and they uh yeah but there's this there's this there's this eye that's sort of spying on them which sounds really strange but there's something here where so, somebody's keeping a watch out and there's this inspired into it could be intuitive creative could be sexual as well rookie uh this is a person in in this situation um what is on your mind your hopes your fears your inner landscape is judgment you might be worried about being judged uh, for something, but you also might be, you might be thinking about insight. You might be thinking about how to grow out of where you're at. This judgment card to me all, looks like it could all be part of this death card, right? Snakes represent um, growth because they leave their skin behind. So you may be contemplating leaving some sort of old self behind, really, is where we're going with this judgment card, where we had already kind of tapped into that with this death card. Leaving some kind of old self behind, old sense of security for growth, but that growth requires vulnerability. That growth requires something you to be you know I, I want to say like naked or skinless at some point so um judgment also talks about um it's the second to the last card in the major arcana so to me it's like the end it's like some sort of ending towards the story so it's not we're not closing the book but we are looking at what did what did we learn what's what was the object lesson here what did we get out of this story how did we grow how did we learn and it's looking for insight uh from experiences you've already had well this is going on in your mind this is what you're thinking about so you could be worried about something you've done before coming back to haunt you and wanting to grow out of that wanting to say maybe this is the that's the old me this is the new me i'm not that skin anymore i'm a new skin um i don't want to i can't live in that old skin anymore i can't handle that so you might be worried about judgment worried about something from your past coming back to haunt you or wanting that to happen wanting that insight wanting to see how to move forward and, and it reminds me of this page of wands because the page of wands both of these are seeking insight into something and the judgment is using that insight and the page of wands is 
first experiencing and seeing that insight in a little like discombobulated way when like a new kind of reality kind of occurs to you or new information occurs to you. So going from discombobulated to really being able to use it, being able to to look back and realize something and understand something. So you're either like looking to your pa looking for insight about something that's already happened in the past, looking for that insight, uh, wanting to grow from that, or you're also might be worried about other people seeing you, but seeing you as the old you and not a new you. Uh, and then what's the issue here is King of Pentacles in reverse. We have some. This is funny because this is this is a little bit you, right? But of course, it's a cow, so we've got a little Taurus energy. We've got a couple of cows here. Um, and then we have King of Pentacles. We have this reversed King of Pentacles. So this is someone who should be a master, a leader. But the, so this can be like a, a leader gone wrong, uh, um, someone who didn't plan ahead, someone who ends up someplace that they were not planning for, were not ready for. Um, this could be a person, again, it's a court card, so it'd be, it can be a person, it can be male or female. Um, it is very earth energy, so it could be, um, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And they're, they're upside down. They, it's like upside down, this is like bad leadership or bad, someone that should be an expert, but is not is actually very ungrounded did not plan something out very well or they're not calm that's for sure or they're not they're upside down they're like disordered somehow so this could be a person that's you would expect to have a lot of money or have a lot of success and they somehow don't. They either have the skills for success and just something's gone wrong and it's upsetting. Like they're, they're not grounded right now. They're not, um, this is a person that just, I want, I want to say they're, they're upset. Like the, I really see this person as being upside down. Like, they're upside down. <laughs> They're, um, yeah, it's fascinating. King of Pentacles, right? Up, so upright, upright would be someone very successful in the real world, plans ahead, makes great investments. So this is someone who's like made some shitty investments, um, maybe invested quite a bit, but in the very wrongest thing, or maybe invested or didn't invest, had an opportunity to invest, didn't invest. It's like someone you would think how I'm seeing this King of Pentacles, you would think that they would be well grounded, that they would be very stable, that they'd have plenty of money, that they would have all their ducks in a row, and they like don't. Something's gone very much awry with them. So, um, and then what's, uh, oh, this is interesting because it sits underneath this reverse five of Pentacles in the environment, grief, um, sorrow, a lot of loss. So there might, um, I can't say that, but um, again, this is like the third card here that is looking a little like, like there's grief here. There's grief in your environment. There's a skull here on this, on this moth. So some sort of transformation and this moth is sitting right underneath these cocoons. So it's like this vulnerable thing here this this cocoons and then this moth emerges but it's not a good moth like something was cocooned something out of this safety comes something that's really no good like you may have felt safe here but the but there's something this reading doesn't feel good um so and and um i don't want to you know worry anyone unnecessarily so if this is not resonating with you please if, if you haven't recognized the storyline it's not yours okay so we have grief we have sorrow a grief process this is uh, maybe people in your life people around you uh going through a bit of a grief process there have been losses um and it's a process that you need they need to go through it's it's um there's some sort of process that needs to be gone through with the grief and it's not, you know, an adjustment to a new normal. There's going to be two cups now. There's not going to be three cups. 
there's not going to be five cups. There's going to be two cups. It's almost like maybe these five, um, only two actually successfully emerge from this group here uh, that, that was safe. Um, and so it actually turns out what felt like safety is not safety at all for, for some part of this. Um, so maybe other people are going through grief. There's some sort of grief process around this uh, and people... There will be better times ahead. There will be good things coming, um, but this is a process that people need to go through and experience. So, um, and then we have uh, your to-do list, the moon. The moon, this wild thing coming through our subconscious and dumping things out, revealing things right? The moon, and when it's full, which it is here, is revealing things. Dealing with your subconscious issues, right? Dealing with the wild parts of yourself, the untamable parts of yourself. And maybe you thought these, these cocoons here were all tameable parts. But dealing with subconscious issues uh, that are maybe coming up for you, revealing what you need to reveal, um, dealing with your, your darker self, your wilder self, um, delving deeply. And this, is, this reveal doesn't have to be public. It can just be, you know, really asking yourself some questions about where you were coming from. What, what, and we have this judgment card. So what made you decide to do what you did? What is really at the foundation of that? Um, I almost feel like, you know, your subconscious, there's a curiosity with this coyote here, this city coyote. There's a curiosity here. And in that curiosity, asking questions, he dumps over a garbage can and actually finds his dinner, finds his meal, finds something, something delicious and sustaining. So you may feel like going back, right? Because we're talking about this judgment card, trying to mine the past for insight. So you want, might want to go back, uh, might want to deal with some issues in your subconscious, you know, just kicking over some cans and, um, and seeing what emerges. And it actually could be quite sustaining for you and quite interesting. This whole thing is like in service of some kind of transformation some kind of change. And then we have a uh, possible outcome, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles, again, we have this uh, Taurus energy here. We have, well, we had this king upside down here, that's um, king of pentacles, but the six of pentacles is about, I feel like it's about um, everybody bringing, bringing what they have. It's about generosity, balance, um, bringing, bringing what you can to the table there's a sense of um, prosperity and generosity, right? Because we have this bird here who's shown up before here. Where's our bird? bird the same bird here is over, well, it's not the same bird, but it feels like the same bird over in this judgment card, uh, call, waking people up. It's the morning bird. It's the bird that wakes everybody up. It's singing in the morning. It's darkest before dawn. And then we have this bird right here uh, singing right here and see both of them are bringing three coins and there's a sense of um, fairness being restored balance being restored to something everyone's bringing what they can to the potluck there's a sense of sharing uh, of wealth um, generosity charity coming in here working together with um, working together with charity in, in a charitable cause or a, uh, it's like there's, there's some kind of balanced distribution of funds. Right, we have lots of pentacles here. We have this five of pentacles and the six of pentacles and this king of pentacles, but two of our pentacles are upside down. So there could be some financial or work issues going on here. We do end up with Six of Pentacles, which is a great place to end up, but you're gonna have to deal with some subconscious issues. And this can, have, this can threaten your sense of self, 
right? We were talking about leaving a sense of self behind with both this card and this card as a little mini death. Um, so this work, this subconscious work, you could end up leaving a part of yourself behind, but th this uh, may end up helping your, your career or your money situation or something like that. Um, right. Because you're, you're going exploring, you're going, what was that? Uh, from Hakim Bay and his like urban exploration sort of thing. So you're going to go exploring and kicking over the can and you might find something new and you might be leaving part of yourself behind because maybe that's no longer true of you. And it might be a transition, a change for you. And then there's a balancing out that happens. You might be worried about karma but you need, if you're dealing with your um, inner issues here, you, this karma could end up being nicely balanced out. You need to go exploring and asking some questions. That's your to-do list. Revealing things to, if not just yourself, if not, if it's not good to reveal it to others, then revealing it to yourself at least. All right, I hope that that was helpful for you, Capricorn. It was a little bit of an interesting reading for me, kind of and it gave me some interesting feels here. So if that resonated, come join me over on uh, Vimeo. If that did not, then I'll see you in a while, crocodile.